Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're embarking on day 17 of our love yoga journey, a hero's journey through yoga. Today's theme is amazing and light and beautiful because it's triumph and we're going to focus, meditate on the triumphs in our life, small triumphs, bigger ones, things we take for granted, things we sometimes don't appreciate about ourselves. Focus on the things you are successful at, the things that during your day you do well or the things that you've achieved in your life and have appreciation for that. Have gratitude and appreciation for the things that are triumphant in your life. And the way we'll do that is through breath. We are going to do a pranayama class. So it's going to be relaxing in many ways, but also exhilarating because breath, breathing, pranayama, that's exhilarating. We'll throw in some kundalini type yoga, but we'll start focusing just on the breath. So are you ready to flow with strength and ease? So we will begin on our backs and we'll just draw our attention on the breath. Lay down onto your back. Take a moment to take the environment in, to notice the environment, to sink into the moment, into the present, into the now. Let's bring the index and thumb together. Open the chest. You can lift your toes up. Engage your belly. And we're going to take a very simple breath. Three, on the count of three, inhalation, on the count of three, exhalation. And in between, on the count of three, hold. So three in, three hold, three out. And I'll join you for the breath. So do your own counting. I'll count the first breath and after that we'll just flow and we'll just breathe and focus on the breath and anchor the mind on the breath. So follow the breath, do your counting as an anchoring meditation point that will empty your mind and bring you in into the present moment even more. Let's go, inhale, one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three. Simple as that and you can hold on the exhalation as well. Now keep your index and thumb together and begin to breathe.
So for the next set of braids, we'll do exactly the same except for you will pull in Molabanda, the root hold, the root lock or kegel muscle and perennial hold and you will hold it on the both holds on the inhalation hold and then uh, on the exhalation hold with hollowing the belly a little bit for both and that will anchor you even further more into the moment same thing breathing in holding breathing out out holding let's go Great, and let's bring the knees into the chest, hands behind the knees, and let's begin to rock back and forth. Rock.
rocking back and forth. Massaging the spine, rocking up to sit it. And here you can begin to circle, form circles around the base of the spine. changing direction and breathe bring the breath into the movement inhaling forward exhaling back inhaling forward exhaling back inhaling forward exhaling back changing direction same deal Great, here we're gonna inhale forward, exhale back, just moving forward, arching the back, exhale, rounding the back. Bring your attention to your root, chakra and we're going to engage mulabandha root lock your kegel muscle the perineum so contracting as if you're holding not to pee in the most simplest ways explained inhale hold your root lock, exhale, let go. So it's a muscle. In the root chakra. Exhaling and inhaling, contracting Mulabandha, letting go. Great, let's do a kundalini move. So we're gonna bring the elbows out, arms just slightly forward and we're gonna shift side to side. Again, engaging Mula Bandha, holding it and breathing. So as you can tell, we're speeding up the breath a little bit we're not taking slow breaths a little faster breath almost hyperventilating which is gonna kind of make us feel a little high and that's okay this is the theme for this class <laughs> Bring your hands in front of you, coming on all fours. And let's take the right leg up, pressing the heel up, bending at the knee, knee to forehead, exhale, inhale. Pull the belly in as you exhale. opposite side you don't have to perfect the moves here just move and feel the moves move with your breath and let go of perfectionism or exactly alignment here we're just moving breathing feeling the body and being dynamic triumphant and exuberant from here 
Let's take the toes under, take down dog. Walk your hands to the middle, feet to the middle of the mat, center of the mat. Exhale in a forward bend, bend the knees, come up into chair and all the way up. And let's step it out. We're gonna step out into a horse stance or plie. So feet are pointing slightly out, not all the way out. Knees are aligning with the feet or the other way around. See how far back your knees can go. That's as far as you will open your feet so that your joints are aligning. For some of you, it may look like a white squat and that's perfectly fine. Some of you are very flexible and it may look like <laughs> splits. So wherever you're at, it's all perfectly fine. We are where we are for a reason and there is perfection in uh, the place we occupy, in the space we occupy, in the body we are in. Our limitations are usually bigger challenges than our blessings, but we can really work both into, ch uh, into challenges and blessings into our strengths and what we have to give in, uh, to the world. Through blessings we serve and challenges become blessings and again we serve through them, but that's where we grow through challenges and learn new things that we can serve with. All right, so this was a long prelude because the next, the next class is something I do teach quite often, but if you are a beginner, you probably haven't done it. Or if you're new to my classes, you may have not done it. It's Kapalabhati breath, breath of fire. It's quite intense, but it is nonetheless very, very um, effective. So it generates heat and it can cleanse us. So we're going to bring the hands forward and then turn the palms of the hands up and press back. And with that movement back, we're going to exhale kind of forcefully and We'll do it through the nose and we'll continue for a really long time, as long as we can, anywhere from 20 seconds to a minute. And then in the final uh, breath, we'll really exhale completely and lock it out and hold it for a moment. That emptiness will hold that emptiness, that hollow end of the breath, top of the breath, top of the exhalation uh, part. All right, so are you ready? Let's begin. Good job, and we're gonna do it again. Let's go one more time. And you can straighten your legs, inhale, hands over the head. Exhale, shower yourself with that prana energy that we're gathering and bring it over. Now, if this seems to you, sometimes yoga can be a little too woo-woo, just visualize it because the mind is really powerful. And even if you think some of the yoga woo-woo is like too much for you, really work with your mind because you know athletes achieve through the mind so it is a very it's, it's a proven thing that if our mind is aligned obviously we can transform ourselves so everything start, starts with our the space our mind is in so learn to 
work with your mind regardless of if you believe in all that stuff in all this a little more ethereal subjects of yoga so lifting up gathering energy and bringing it over showering yourself with energy if nothing else this is a beautiful meditation relaxation but learning to generate energy through your breath is a powerful tool the breath is the most healing tool that we have in our arsenal of tools and lift your arms out now and what does this look like okay this looks triumphant so stay like the hero honor and accept and be appreciative of all the things that you're good at take a moment instead of hands in prayer take a moment to say yes thank you body thank you my soul for being good at this or for achieving this so be silly a little bit but be appreciative of what you're good at oftentimes we just tear ourselves down for the things we're not good at but what are you good at great and let's shake it out <clears throat> swinging the arms side to side reaching side to side here you're gonna step your feet about hip width apart and just swing the arms side to side this is a lighter class because we're doing 30 days of yoga and I want you all to be able to do it and benefit from it and I don't want us to get exhausted or too lazy but it's gonna be just the right balance of everything <laughs> all right from here again one more energy exercise big breath in and sweeping the arms up and exhale and again big breath and sweeping the arms <sighs> when you come up go into a little back bend tuck the tailbone under really focus on your breath this is a breathing exercise not necessarily the, a movement but the movement is just facilitating the breath and let's step the feet a little wider than hip width apart take the arms out you can do a little mudra here and let's shift side to side here breathe again rapid breaths they're following the movement over the heart again coming back to a space of appreciation for our victories triumphs great step your feet again a little wider than hip width apart and we're going to bend the knees sweep up exhale down and again bend the knees sweep up
step your feet a little wider and we're going to take side to side plie so one sided plie and move the arms with the breath pressing out and now bringing in bring and bring as if you're collecting or pulling bringing energy into the upper body hands over the head you can step your feet about hip width apart <sighs> pressing the palms of the hands together reaching over to one side and lengthening the torso so press into your the outer edge of the right foot and shift over to the left feel that length along the side of the torso back to center opposite side feel the length back to center and again shift and look up shift and look up and back to center exhale the hands over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love and i'm very thankful for all of you for sharing this journey with me i'll see you tomorrow with our next class and remember to flow with strength and ease